Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews, and I'm back at it over at Taco Bell to take a look at what looks to be a very refreshing drink just in time for summer. And as you already know, it's the Pineapple Whip Freeze. And guys, take a look at this presentation. I'm already digging the green dome cap on the very top there, looking very, very frosty indeed. We've got a pineapple syrup base here mixed in with this ice. And if you can kind of see throughout, it looks like some vanilla creamer. Take a look, I'm gonna try and tilt this up just a bit for you. It's kind of condensing a little bit on the bottom there but it is definitely mixed throughout. And this is looking super, super refreshing right now. Happy hour special, this was just a buck. Not bad at all. Let's give this a shot and see how this is. It's the pineapple whip freeze here at Taco Bell. Mmm. Ooh, wow, believe it or not, I'm getting a soft serve vibe with this, with that vanilla creamer on the very bottom. And I gotta say, this is actually scratching the itch for the Dole Whip Flip at Disneyland for me right now, guys. I'm a huge fan of that. It's one of the wifey's favorite drinks as well when we go there, desserts, I should say. It is awesome. Mmm. Speaking of awesome, this is gonna be my new favorite by far. This is amazing in terms of flavor. The sweetness is not crazy at all on it, but it's just enough to kind of let you know that it's got something to it naturally. The artificial pineapple flavor is definitely there. And the idea with the green cap here, simulating the leaves right there is very cool. So I'm really digging this. You can actually get this without the creamer, which is I guess a good option too, but I would recommend easily go for the creamer. It's got like a Carvel ice cream, like a soft serve vibe to it. And I'm really digging that. Mmm, man, this is seriously for a dollar on happy hour. Look at the size of this. This is really nice. And I'm gonna try and whip this just a bit for you. Well, just to kind of lean it forward, just so you can see. Very, very nice in terms of the coloring here. They have it spot on. But I love the idea of the white uh, logos that you see from Taco Bell on the outside of the cup, mixing in with that frothy like creamer that you can see. And of course, in the very bottom, it's beginning to kind of settle here. As the peacocks are screaming their heads off around me here right now, it's kind of a dangerous spot to be reviewing this. But guys, this is really, really good. Well worth the time. And I got to admit, with summer here pretty much, this easily signals that time of the year. It's a super refreshing drink and super delicious. Mmm. I was kind of on the fence with this when I heard about this being just like coffee creamer or vanilla creamer. That's what I'm thinking. It's like a coffee creamer. It's got a very rich flavor and it really adds to it. So it simulates the soft serve vibe, I guess is what you could say from the Dole Whip float that I'm used to from Disneyland. But the overall flavor is reminiscent. It's kind of making me feel like I want that. But at the same time, this is a really, really awesome alternative. And again, on happy hour for a buck, guys, you can't fade that, it's pretty awesome. Again, take another close look at that. A lovely situation indeed. The marketing is spot on. I love the dome cap. I love the green cap that this has got here. And this is a really, really cool presentation. Mmm. Like I usually say, simplicity is usually the way to go with these things. And nothing against the other drinks in the past with like the seeded, like the watermelon freeze and things like that that have the candies on the inside. This is just very simple, but I love the color contrast with that white in there. And of course, you've got the green cap. Very, very slick. So very tasty. Mmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be enjoying this. I don't want to know what the sugar content is actually on this, but I can tell you it's probably going to be up there, but it doesn't really taste like it is. So that's really the cool thing. It's subtle, but the creaminess is bomb. Mmm. Really good. All right. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the pineapple whip freeze here at Taco Bell a rock solid 10 out of 10. This is really, really delicious. And again, presentation is primo. The cream that's included with this is primo. I probably wanna try this without the cream just to kind of have it on its own. But I love what it's adding to the overall flavor of that pseudo fake pineapple type of vibe that this has got going naturally. Of course it's artificial, but it's still pretty tasty. So pretty bomb. All right guys, quick question for you real fast. Do you think this is gonna be your new favorite because it's currently my new favorite for sure? Or are you still pretty much stuck on the Baja Freeze? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. All right, so before I get attacked by these vicious peacocks that are surrounding my car here right now, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So wait, stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All day long with this one, guys. Well, maybe during happy hour because it's just a buck. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.